I, I want, we're a couple months away from the album release, but there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys have already released a couple songs. Um, Octane's been spinning the crap out of your guys' singles, and they've been doing really well. Um, being the new guy in the band and also being the new singer in the band, how exciting is it and how much val- how validating is it when the, the songs are doing as well as they are before the record's even out? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. You, you speak on the Octane thing. But that, I, I know when um, when I first met up with the guys, that was that was one of the band's big goals, for sure, was to try to get a song um, on Octane, just one gotcha. song in general. So, yeah, to see how um, that has grown is really exciting and cool, and all the props to Octane, you know, they, they've, they've been, like you said, showing us a tr- tremendous amount of love, which is, which is great. And... Um, yeah, I mean that's that's sort of been the whole trajectory is watching this thing come from sort of an underdog story to um, now having people be a bit more on board is is really gratifying and cool. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's really cool to see. And you came into the band in the middle of um, in the middle of the last record cycle. Um, was that tough to come in to come into the band when you did? Because um, I don't know if the band was on tour when you came in, but it was like mm-hmm. less than a year after the record released, I think, that you came in and, and hit the road with them. What was that like for yeah. you? Well, yeah, I mean, so the, the whole the whole reason I came on was to do a tour that um, they needed a singer for. Yeah. Um, so I was called in super last minute. I mean, the whole, from my from my perspective, I had never heard of the band. I'd never heard of Johnny Craig before. Okay. I had... Um, I had to make the decision on whether I was going to do it in about a half hour. Oh, wow. um, so I got to, I, I listened to maybe like 30 seconds of Star Explode and said, "Yeah, okay, this doesn't sound like there's any screaming. In this I'll give it a I'll give it a shot." Um, and that was it. I was on a I was on a plane like two days later, um, wow. just trying to learn the songs, making up making up lyrics on the first gig. Um, and they had yeah we we had never met each other before. We didn't have a sound check. Obviously had no rehearsals. Um, I met them about an hour or two before the first show and that was that was it um so for me it's been it's been such a wild ride of like flying by the seat of my pants that um you know i think it i think it would have been different if um even if i had been exposed to the band's music or even johnny before because obviously that people are you know follow him devoutly and you know everything but i just i just didn't know about any of that so it's sort of like i just wasn't in on the joke and in a, in a certain sense, it was really easy for me to just be like, cool, I'm on tour in Europe and just not really yeah. care about any of it. You know, it's sort of like jokes on everybody else. Like, I, I'm like not even involved in this. So Right. Yeah, I would think I that would make it easier. Thing. Yeah, I would think that yeah. would make it easier. I mean, cause, <laughs> I mean, this, it wasn't exactly the best situation overall, really. And um, yeah. I, I was going to ask if, you know, if um, when you started talking about that, that made it easier. But how did you get connected with the band? I mean, you mentioned that you weren't familiar with them or the music or anything. So how did that connection happen? Sure. So I'm I'm good friends with Kevin Thrasher from Escape the State. Oh, okay. and I have a um, have a group together that we've been working on writing, recording for the actually like a little over two years now. Wow. And so. So I had been working with him, and I and he was I knew he was going away to Europe on tour, and I was like, okay, cool, man, I'll see you when you get back. And then he was he was at the airport, and he hit me up and asked me if I wanted to come on that tour with him. So I I at least knew I was going to have a homie there and everything and all that stuff. But um, also too, just to just to say, obviously, um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to pull it off if it wasn't for the band being super welcoming right. and accepting and and just. They, they just made me feel really comfortable in, a, in an uncomfortable scenario from day one, for sure. Because um, gotcha. I think that 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 was my worst fear, is that I was going to show up and um, obviously not have all of it memorized in time, and they were just going to be like, what the fuck, dude? So um, <laughs> I'm glad that that wasn't the case. Yeah, and fast forward, I mean, even with everything that happened and everything that was going on and that whole hectic process, it really only took two years from... Um, from Beautiful Death to to Better Days releasing. Yeah. I mean, and it, it it's just crazy to think that 
you would think it would take longer for that for that whole process. But I mean, what when you sat down and started the the songwriting sessions and the lyric sessions and everything for To Better Days, what was that process like for you and the rest of the band? Was it an emotional process coming out of everything that had been going on and kind of a chance to really release all of those emotions? Or were, did you guys separate yourself from everything going in? That's a good, that's a good question. Um, I think you'd have to ask the guys in terms of the history leading up to that point. I mean, okay. the, the only, from, from, from my perspective, from a history of being involved in the band, it was more just about, um, you know, trying to, trying to show that I could, um, meet some sort of expectations and just do a good job in general. But I guess I always try to do a good job, but, um, you know, for me, as far as the writing is concerned, I think with the other guys as well, it, it, it's, it, it was more just probably similar to any other record where you're pulling from, you know, personal yeah. things that happened to you in life. And it's not necessarily like a mission statement of, uh, or like a, history of what's happened to the band and, and mm -hmm. you know so um for for me it was fun because it was heavier music than i've ever been sure. uh, involved in and so it was you know i was presented with these great um tracks that the band was writing and then uh I'd go away and try to come up with lyrics and vocal lines on top of it which, which uh you know the, the 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 music called for something different than I usually bring to the table. So I was able to draw from other influences that I have, which, which was, which was cool, man. Yeah. One song that really stands out is footprints, which the, the band has done stuff along that musical road a little bit in the past, but it's also musically is also different than what we might be used to. I mean, that's one song that really stands out um, lyrically and musically what are some of the songs that really stand out to you? Would Footprints be one? I mean, Secrets is good. I love Like I Do. But what are some of the songs for you that really stand out? Well, first of all, I didn't know that you'd heard the whole record, so that's so yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I have had a chance to listen through it and get a review. I'm like, does this guy that. mean Footprints? Does he get mixed up? Um, <laughs> well, thanks, man. That's, that's cool. I didn't, I, didn't, yeah. uh, I didn't realize that's what was going on. Um, yeah, absolutely. Love it. I, I yeah, I mean, one of my favorites is always going to be talk to a friend. You know, that's yes. like a yes. that's like a that's like a lyric that I wanted to write for um, a long time, and for some reason that just came together on that song, which was really cool. Um, and you know, I think it's 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 always funny to see how songs are received, and you can have mm -hmm. um, a certain thing in your head of okay, this, this one's going to kill it, and oh, I don't know if anybody's going to like this one, but I like it. And so for me, that was sort of talk to a friend. Uh, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it as maybe like an obvious like smash or crowd pleaser, um, but I, I just know that it's a song that I really like and sure. that the band really likes because it's just, we just think it's a good deep song, and that was even one that we were like fought to even have a music video for. Wow. Like, you know, I think we should really do this. And, and, and so then to see that be, you know, thus far the most... Um, successful song is, has has been really cool obviously right because yeah. it was sort of like that's like one of those ones where even if we put it out and um people were kind of eh I'd be like well whatever but i i like it, you know right. <laughs> but uh yeah but um so that one's cool um foot footprints was fun for me because um you know i would say it's a it's a bit more in my wheelhouse in terms of like what people would know me for sure. as far as vo vo vocally and everything so sure. that was that was kind of a sort of like a easy kind of fun one for me vocally, which is cool. Um, yeah. I, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm really glad that, uh, the band has, um, material to kind of back that sound up already. Like it's, it's like a very precedented thing for them to do, to have this nice acoustic mm -hmm. song. Um, so yeah, for, for me to be able to show people, um, obviously something like the more kind of almost singer songwriter, you kind of love song is, is you know, well within something that I would normally do, and I'm and I'm happy to show it off whenever I can. So it's great. Yeah, definitely. And 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 talk to a friend. I think that was the first. Wasn't that the first single that you guys put out from from this record? I think that the the, the public really got to see you, hear you as a vocalist as well. I think was that song. Uh yeah. So it was it was it was heavier, and then we did prayers, and then we did. Oh uh, okay. 
No, I, th- I think it was I think it was the fourth one. I think we have five out that, now. That, um, that might be the first one that I heard on Octane because that was the first. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. I got I got Sirius XM I think right before that single released. I think so. That's where I started to get really exposed to a lot of the music. So I guess that cool, makes man. Sense. I guess that makes sense. Um, but I mean, how did how did being on the Voice really prepare you for? this kind of a stage did it prepare you at all for this or was it a completely different animal yeah i mean uh, you know thanks to thanks to the voice i um know how to really keep uh my voice in shape and do all my warm-ups and everything that i was supposed to do in college but i didn't do (laughs) uh unfortunately and so uh yeah you know it's just just that that schedule was so rigorous and so challenging i mean it was like the longest day i had on set was a 20 hour day um oh, that started on the east coast filming all this stuff and then i ended up in la in a, in a studio session that was oh, right until like two or three in the morning but yeah like regular like 16 hour days um production schedule you know and 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 so that was something i was really excited about to do because i remember at the beginning of the show they're like if you make it to lives like it's going to be crazy it's going to be way more hectic than you know if you've been in college and you're holding down a full-time job blah blah blah. it's like it's very demanding so i was that was something that was a challenge that sounded exciting to me and 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 really helped me prepare to come right out of the show to go into um going to touring and everything it was it 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 felt um really manageable so that kind of uh definitely prepared and i mean also just in just in terms of you know I've, i've i've had so much um stuff thrown at me in terms of, you know, all that TV and exposure and, and, and doing, you know, big stadium shows and whatever that's like, uh, I think it beat pretty much all the nerves out of me, you know what I mean? So, um, and, and, and actually I I was, I was really nervous about doing, um, doing the first show with the guys, because like I said, my, my biggest fear was just showing up, obviously not having the stuff memorized in time. And then like, just having them being like, dude, what the hell, man? You said you could do this. So, um, but luckily, you know, I have enough experience that as soon as I stepped on the stage, I just felt like, oh, okay, you know, and it just sort of like whatever happens, I I feel comfortable in that environment. So, so would you see this as Slave's fourth record or your debut record? Um, I I don't know. I I think I think I think we are thinking about this as. Um, sort of a new chapter sure. in a sort of like this is this is the official first record of maybe sort of this new band lineup and then sure. sort of it's sort of like a pivot record to be honest with you I think it's like you know we it was it was it was important for us to um, keep uh, the fan base happy and engaged and give them something that was like uh I guess a logical follow-up to Beautiful Death, you know what I mean, right. and sort of like why wouldn't it be? Because there's only there's only one member change. Right. Um, but yeah, that being said, I I, I hope that uh, you know people can look at it. I guess the the way that we are, which is like we also want to kind of acknowledge the um, the the future of the band being uh, the way that it is, and and yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a new era, that's for sure, and it's a new chapter. Um, I I know the the public and the fans haven't heard the record all the way through, um, Uh but that last song, dude, on the record, Like I Do, the the lyrics on that song, and the way you guys end the record with that line. Uh um, Cool. Yeah, dude, where did that song come from? Was that something that you wrote? from your personal experiences or do you want to talk about that song at all and really what that song is for you? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, all, all the, you know, all the, all the songs from, from a writing standpoint for me come, come from a personal place. Um, I would say that one is the only one that I started writing lyrics for, um, before we even got in the studio, I was on a flight. Um, and I just, I wrote all those pre-choruses, the, uh, I don't like cooks, I don't know, whatever. And I just, I just thought that seemed like it could be like, Hey, maybe this will be good for the studio. And that was kind of the only thing that I had, um, in the notebook going in. We just kind of did everything on the fly, which was cool. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that one in particular, I really tried to, um, just lay it all out there. And, and, you know, I, 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 I've, I've been, uh, in sort of a rough place with things for 
I guess the, the year and a half or two or something leading up to making the record, and so it was sort of this uh, again this re- revelation of hearing hearing the music and and realizing that oh I actually have a you know a lot a lot to say over this which I I wasn't I wasn't sure if I would so to give you some insight like heavier our first um, single was started out as um, a demo that was sent to us by Jimmy our producer um, so a, a lot of that vibe was there you know I I. I wrote a second verse, um, changed some things up. We finished that one as a band, but again, Jimmy started that one, and so, so I sort of anticipated the writing process for the record being sort of like that. Like I, I figured, hey, if Jimmy comes in with a bunch of ideas and stuff, like you know, I I know we'll be able to finish it. But um, he was very much of the the place of like I, I want to produce the record and I want you guys to really um, do your do your do your thing, which uh, which was which was really cool actually. So you know as as far as from like a top line perspective, um, he obviously credited for the, for that um, the initial gist of heavier as as well as um, song bury a lie. I was like couldn't fucking think of anything for that hook, and so he came up with that uh, awesome chorus melody for that one. And then there's um, you know there's I think there's there's two that were like that, and then there's another two that um, we wrote collectively as a band. Secrets being one of them, and um, cursed being another one, but everything else I just was like, I was sort of determined to try to just finish by myself. And, and I, again, a, a lot of that is because I'm like, damn, I actually have a lot to say. And so, um, to answer your question, yeah, like I do is just, um, you know, it's, it's that, that one and talk to a friend in particular were, were sort of hard just because I wanted to get myself to a place where I could really speak yeah, it's kind of like painful, I guess. You know what I mean? You, to 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 try to put yourself in like I really want to commit this to record and to paper and what what I've been feeling, what I've been dealing with, and so it's gratifying and kind of like the sense of catharsis to do it. But it's also like it's not really a fun process. <laughs> you know, it's not right. like right right about that time that you you had you had the best ice cream ever. You know, it's like <laughs> it's just kind of just all day. I'm just kind of like come on, like what is it? And just like yeah. kind of purposely winding yourself up and making you re- relive things just just so you can kind of squeeze that um juice out of yourself so um yeah i mean i, I mean i'm i'm really happy with how the whole record turned yes. out um yes like i do i think is it, it, I, I i do think people are going to respond to um so we'll see i guess it comes out this week so yeah nice yeah man you can definitely i mean just listen to the songs listen to the lyrics you can definitely feel you know where you're coming from you can definitely feel the emotion in these songs and i think fans are really going to respond they've already started to respond really well to the material that they've heard so i can't i can't right. wait for people to hear the rest of this stuff man you guys Good, knocked, man. you guys knocked it out of the park with this record i'm so so happy to hear it and uh Thank you for a great record and it's good to have you in the band and I cannot wait to see you guys live again. Thanks bro. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just add one thing too, you know, for our, the the record has been done since last year basically at this point really? like, as far as it being recorded. Yeah, so we, you know, I I came in for the first tour, then we immediately went into Australia, did um did the heavier single with Jimmy out there, then we did a US tour, then we did another quick US tour, and right at the end of that, we so this was last spring um yeah then we it was it was basically last august that we did you know mid of july and august we tracked the whole record um and then um did a little u.s tour and at the end of that we filmed all these music videos as well so that was last um wow i, guess, I don't know fall or something so um yeah that, i i was i was you know you know how things always take a while to properly roll out but yeah. i was I was disappointed because I wanted credit for how quickly we, like, I mean, we didn't, yeah. we didn't miss a beat, you know, like the, the band missed one show because I couldn't get a rush passport in time. You know, like I, I got a passport the next, the next day. So they admit, which I was happy about because that first show would have been even worse than the one that I joined them with. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been, you know, the record was wow. tracked last year. So, 